concierge health advisor. He clicked on it. Who am I going to rubbish again? <laughs> That's right. Um, Huberman. Dr. Andrew Huberman. I've done a podcast. Let's see how I, in what way I rubbish people on the big screen. Well, it's a little bit of a smaller screen. If I try the whole uh, landscape um, in another car, nah, it's not set up right. So this is this is what you're getting. So Dr. Andrew Huberman, Stanford professor, you know, ophthalmologist and um, neurobiologist, and um, a giant in 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 this um, non-mainstream world of YouTube and um, podcasts and he's got the whole subscription thing and that's great, that's great. He, he, he did I say this? Because uh, I, I was going through things in my mind before I went click to start, right? So um, he's the least rubbishable health advocates, guru, professor, credentialed guy um, person out there and uh, but off the top here's the rubbishy bit too much too much um, I subscribe to his content it's very rigorous and um, some of the rigor further solidifies my own uh, proclivities oh not the best word, not the best word. My own um, vindicate, vindicate myself. <laughs> um, my own testing, my own sanity with uh, certain subjects, um, concepts of health. Um, so he's got too much going on. For starters, a professor of ophthalmology and neurobiology. Holy shit! That's. Achievement, achievement in itself. He's a great presenter, great looking uh, guy. He's around my age. Built, he's trained. I'm not trained, although about a week ago I, I, I joined a gym and see how it goes. Um, I, first day was 10 minutes, 10 minutes, 15. I'm, I'm at a, around 15, 20 minutes, once, uh, one or two sets per uh, body group split sets and that sort of thing. So. Yes, that's one thing that um, Doc Huberman of the Huberman Lab uh, talks about is um, is the whole uh, exercise and eating right thing, which for many that may, some, very few, that have seen my videos, I advocate against, or at least, yes, you said that you go to the gym and you eat this, and that. that's right, that's right, so exercise lifting weights is very low on my totem pole very low in the priorities that um, the average couch sitting cheeto eating smoking Netflix watching Westerner if you were one of them I advocate for the keto 44 look up keto 44 on videos and uh, I'm not sure if I've done a piece, a writing piece on Keto 44, but there's plenty on my podcast series about Keto 44, what I advocate. And um, yes, I've uh, done 45 seconds of uh, every second day before I started the gym, you know, with the 10 and 15 minutes that I'm doing now. Um, I did 90 seconds every second day uh, for, for, seems like 18 months in the past. And that's all I've been doing, like, uh, one set of uh, push-ups to fail, one set of um, yeah, military press or shoulder press to fail, and then straight into a super super set, I call it, into uh, bicep curls just for the something to lift in case I need to shift the catch, that sort of thing. So, so I've, that's my disclosure. And oh, if you, let's compare Doc Huberman and this guy, this this schmuck. Uh, yeah, I, I, I get it. Um, I'm not the best of presenters. Uh, but here it is. Here's a further review on Doc Cuban Guru Review Series. <laughs> anyway, a 
the Doc Huberman is first cab. Uh, um, there'll be Dr. Atia, Dr. Sonnenberg, Dr. What's that uh, lady with the fish oils? Not Palmer. It'll come to me. Um, uh, ah, Rhonda Patrick. Who, who could forget Ron, Dr. Rhonda Patrick? Uh, on the Peloton. Yeah, she's, she's on the Peloton. When I heard that, like, ah, oh, you're stepping in the dark too, uh, Dr. Patrick. So, anyway, um, this is about Huberman. So, as I started with and I went all, on all these tangents, yeah, I get uh, that. that it's just me. Too much going on, even with the ophthalmology and, um, and the neuroscience uh, part. Um, very profound concept that he often mentions, makes reference to. Are you a lumper or a splitter? I'm more of a lumper with my scientific and health concepts. Because lumping, the reason why I lump and not split is we may as well be all chickens in a coop. Light. One thing that I've taken on with uh, Doc Huberman is photons in the eyes, half an hour to one hour after you wake up, get those photons into your eyes, and I don't look at the sun like this, I go like that. You know, straight into the eyes, not through the bloody lenses. So that's what I advocate that, um, that I do support with uh, Doc Huberman is as part of his ophthalmology knowledge. And that's one of the things I have taken on board. And I believe it's helped me and as part of that part of the protocol, he mentions protocol quite often, um, with all these different you know, diet, exercise, uh, mental health, and um, creativity, uh, all that sort of thing. So um, as well as the photons in the morning, after lunch, tone down the photons, and when the sun goes down, try to eliminate the photons. Minor light, red light, yellow light, and bed. So that's what I support with his advocacy of that. So although uh, this may be a hit piece, I have embraced Doc Huberman in cherry picking. So, um, for those that may know that what I advocate, this is a quick comparison to what, like, you know, because I'm a lumper, chickens in a coop or cows in a paddock, we're much more same than we are different. This is where I'll be a little bit different to Doc Huberman. He, he's a bit of a splitter in, in us as humans, like that. Oh, cold and, and uh, heat therapy and all that sort of thing. Uh, that's um, in far in the periphery for me because I'm the chicken coop lumper. And um, So too much going on, diet, exercise, mental health, uh, even with uh, hormones. Ooh, he's got, he has other professionals, well-learned academics on his show, which is very, uh, it's, it's, a, it's an advantage. You, you get to see how the Sonnenbergs and the Matias and the uh, Patricks and uh, there's countless, countless others are just not in my brain. Matia I'll be reviewing as well uh, after perhaps uh, Rhonda. Uh, Doc Patrick. Um, so, yeah, too much, too much. Uh, you know, I'll mention the cold and heat therapy, the uh, creativity. Um, I do support more with the, the photon, photons at different parts of the day. I support uh, the, the cannabis and alcohol and drug taking, all bad. I support that. But I further poo poo on. Stabbing in the dark. Too, too many things going on. Um, how do you build muscle? Uh, yeah, fair enough. Building muscle, even with uh, oh, Doc, Dr. Norton, he's had on. Had on. Dr. Is it Andrew? Norton, he's married to 
Holly Back, Holly Baxter, very you know, um, body sculptor, uh, figure, um, competitor, that sort of thing. She's ditched the blonde. Of, I've seen her in a recent video of her. Anyway, so <laughs> yes, I know, I know. This is not polished. You're not, you're not going to get polished from me, no, because then. By polishing, you miss out on the brilliance. <laughs> so, um, yeah, too much going on, Dr. Hibbert. But the effort, the presentation, it's great. And why I say he's got too much going on, because uh, he references things like, I used to knock, you know, touch wood, knock on wood, uh, you know, with the whole, you know, the whole anxiety, mental health sort of thing. He's an omnivore. I love donuts. And those sort of comments suggest to me, Doc Huberman, with your own health snapping in the dark, apart from your photon rece um, receiving and uh, you know um, building up the melatonin at the end uh, at the end of the day and all that sort of thing, I support that. But uh, let's see your actual health. In 30 years, if you're still alive, Dr. Huberman versus myself versus the Atiyahs and the, the Rod the Patricks and the Sonnenbergs and the uh, Nortons and the Baxters. Uh, which other names could I think of at, at this time, that, which, which he's had on? Anyway, anyway. So, uh, before I run out of, st out of steam too much, there's too much happening in um, what Dr. Huberman would like to put into his um, regimen, his daily health regimen. If he was to fit everything that he advocates for, like, where do you even have time to get some work done? Well, presenting his work too, right? So, yeah, I, uh, I get it, I get it. So, there you go. There's the brief personal very personal rundown on Doc Huberman for the masses if I get two views anyway that's it for now stand by for further further reviews or poo poos or maybe even someone that's more mm, and Huberman I have a feeling I, I have a feeling that Huberman is top of the list of the least poo pooed of what I'll review <laughs> okay bye bye